What is going on guys, it is Brick Channel here, back with another video, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can record console gameplay, Xbox One or PS4, with nothing but an iPhone. Now before this video gets started guys, I do want to shout out to my guy CMW Beats, he makes all the beats for my videos, and if you guys do want to check him out, his links are in the description. He has great beats, and every beat that you guys hear in my latest videos, they're all by him. So I've done a video like this before, but I decided, I decided to make a new one basically, because that last one was kind of out of date, and it was kind of poorly made, and it was like four years ago, so I decided to make a new one so hope you guys enjoy guys the first thing i'm going to talk about is the things you're going to need so if you guys saw the thumbnail and the title which i'm assuming you did if you clicked on this there are only two things you're going to need and one that you actually only need first obviously you're going to need your phone i'm using this is actually my phone i'm using another phone to record it but that's basically the only thing you need but also if you want to record commentary you're going to need some sort of microphone this is actually a headset that's only 40 dollars. it's a razor headset i'm going to link the video in the top right corner with the little card right now so if you want to check out this headset if you need one you can check this out it's only 40 dollars. got a little quick review on it but that's basically all you guys are going to need now guys you guys are going to get to the online so you guys are going to need some sort of streaming service to actually basically record your gameplay so there's two main services you guys can use you guys can either use twitch at twitch.tv or you guys can use mixer so if you guys are using xbox one i highly recommend you guys use mixer and the reason being is that since mixer is made by microsoft it's completely integrated with xbox and you guys can start streaming the way i show you guys in this video twitch also works but you're gonna have to download a separate app on your xbox and start streaming for there and sometimes microsoft purposely downgrades the quality when you stream to twitch just because you're not using their service so if you have an xbox one i recommend mixer now if you have a ps4 on the other hand i i recommend twitch because twitch obviously is i think is a little bit better of a service and for it PS4 obviously is made by Sony, so it has no sort of like preference towards either of them. So I would recommend using Twitch for that one. So you guys are just going to need to make a channel. And if you guys have Xbox One, since it's made by Microsoft, your Microsoft account will directly link straight to your mixer and you should have no problem screen account. For Twitch, you just have to sign on your PS4, Xbox, whatever. It's not really that much work. But either way, just get some sort of service going. So now guys, you guys are going to want to go on to basically where you guys are going to be playing your game. So right here guys, I'm on my Xbox, and if you're on PS4, obviously just open up on your PS4, and you guys are going to want to go to the game you want to play. It has to be in a game for this to work, because for some reason, with the way Xbox and PlayStation work, at least I think for Xbox, I'm not sure for PlayStation, but you have to be in a game to actually be streaming it. So you want to load up your game guys, and what you guys are going to want to do is basically stream it from here. So... First thing you guys are going to want to do is set up the stream. It should be automatically set up, but you want to press the home button and go two clicks to the right to the captured share. Then, guys, I'm not going to press start broadcasting, but there's an option right there, start broadcasting. That's where you're going to want to press. I can't do it right now because I'm actually streaming to my laptop to actually record this, but it's going to just start cause problems if I do it. But if you're not streaming to your laptop, which you shouldn't be if you're streaming, it should work perfectly fine. You're just going to press start broadcasting, and it'll start broadcasting straight to Mixer or Twitch. Well, actually, it'll only be for Mixer for Xbox, because if you want to do Twitch, you're going to have to do the external application, which is easy. You guys can just find a tutorial online. But before you guys actually do this, you guys are actually going to want to go into your settings, your capture settings right there. It's going to prompt me for my password right here, but obviously you guys can see it doesn't really matter. But if you guys do want to record your own voice, as I said, you guys are going to need a mic. But here, there's a bunch of settings. If you're, you want to make sure your mic is on, and you guys want to put your settings for mic volume, game system volume. 9 and 3 is my setup here. I think it works great for, like, shooter games and stuff like that. But if you guys have quieter games, you want to make any of your voice is kind of quiet, you guys can switch it up, whatever. You guys just want to go back to your game, and once you've started streaming, you basically just stream, act like you're doing a video, say, like, what's up, blah, 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 and just get all that going. And that's what you guys are going to want to do on the console side. Now we're going to move to what you do on your phone. You guys have started streaming. If you guys look right here. I actually have the stream loaded up right on my phone. And basically guys, this is a little bit laggy. So it's, I mean, obviously it's gonna lag because it's a stream. So it says right here, this this thing right here, and it's going, it's a little bit, I guess, slower than it, obviously because it's a stream, but it has an just down. I'm not actually recording my audio right now. And that's cause um, obviously it would be echoing and it'd be really bad. But if you were, the audio would be coming through here. And the thing you guys would wanna do guys is while you're streaming, you wanna have your phone open. You might wanna actually put it in charging like right there. Just have it close to you and you guys actually just want to screen record the entire stream. So stream is going to stay at about 1080p and you guys are just going to want to screen record it. So the easiest way to do that on iPhone is just to swipe up into control center. And you guys just want to press the screen record thing. You might need a little bit of storage for this if you guys do want to do this, but right here, as you guys can see, I'm recording it. And then the audio will automatically record as well. And it'll be in nice quality. It'll be in 1080p, whatever your phone screen is in. And I can just move around here. If I'm moving around here, obviously it's hard to do because I have like four things in my hand. So they're moving and then eventually I'm going to start moving here too. 
you're gonna get a nice live quality of your stream. You might wanna keep the volume a little bit low. It won't affect how it is in the video, but it will make it a little bit easier for yourself just so you won't hear yourself talking. That sounds a little bit weird, but it's also a good way to gauge how your stream is going, see what the quality is like. Usually if you have even decent Wi-Fi, and my Wi-Fi is not that good, you can sit at around 1080p worst 720p, which is still solid for someone who's doing this instead of having an Elgato. So that's basically it. Now guys, I'm gonna get into some test footage. What's up guys, I'm actually here with the test footage. So I'm just here in creative mode and I'm probably just gonna build something cool. So I'm just gonna go over here, do some cool stuff. First thing I need to do guys, obviously sleep because it's night and I'm gonna build a little bit of a house. This is for the test footage. This just shows you guys how the quality is. It's gonna sit around 1080p. And if you guys have longer clips, it might actually take up a lot of storage. But if you guys do just manage your storage, well, delete the clips once you're done editing everything. And also guys, if you guys do wanna know how to edit right, right off your phone, I'll link that video top right corner right now. If you guys want to know how to edit, I have a full basically playlist of how to run a gaming channel straight from your phone. So yeah, that's the one that can relate to this because this is a new strategy that's basically just working now. So for this, I'm just going to build a quick little house. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Let's look into the blocks. I've always wanted to use like different stained glasses. I feel like it's a little bit harder though. Black stained glass honestly looks super sick and it's kind of underrated. I'm going to want some, I do like polished stuff. So I might go with some polished granite stairs and then some more polished granite just blocks if i can find those um huh emerald blocks actually also look really cool what else we got here i need some basic wood i can what would work well i feel like just some basic oak would also work well and actually, I'm, I want to make a little bit of um, a smooth stone instead of granite. Let's just get going. I'm going to make it on the water, actually. So if you guys do have any questions on basically how this works, uh, please free, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll get to it as fast as I can. And if you guys have ever watched one of my videos, you guys know I'm probably one of the fastest responders for comments. Um, might just be because I don't get that many comments, but if you guys want to help a brother out, comment. I will obviously respond, and I'll get to you as fast as I can. So I'm just going to go with a quick 9 by 7 build. So we got 9, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, just want to go back across. It's not going to be anything special. I just want to make this it's kind of good. Actually, we might want to replace even the sides right here. Let's go with a basic four tall. I hear a zombie dying. Doesn't matter, I'm in creative mode. I'm god tier right now. Actually, we will need to go one, one higher if we want to have a three ceiling. If you guys can't tell, I'm not really the best builder, but I take pride in what I can do. Not really. I'm kind of booty. I'm not going to lie. Now, this video, guys, was actually inspired because my best video ever, my Hatter Record Console Game with just an iPhone. I felt bad that it has like 150,000 views, but it's honestly not up to date. There's no editing in that video, and it just doesn't really, it, it works still, but there's so many better strategies. And um, by the way, guys, if you guys are using PS4 or for if you guys are using Twitch, either one works, because on PS4 there's probably no mixer support as of right now, but Twitch also works on Xbox, but it's just simpler to do on Xbox once you work with Mixer. And obviously these are not actually using it as a streaming service, you're just using it as sort of a video on demand. And if you guys have uh, PS4, Twitch works better, because that also works the same way, and it's basically just the same thing. If you have an Android phone also, I'm sure there's some third-party screen recording apps. On iPhone, it's just... Since it's a lot more controlled app store, it's harder to find a screen recording app. That's the only reason I went with the basic screen recorder. Also, the basic screen recorder is fantastic on iPhone. It records all the audio. It records it extremely high quality. So there's really no problem. I have no idea what I'm going for with this house. It's super basic. Uh, actually, I'll go 2 1 on these sides. Just 
So I'll do a little bit of an inverse relationship. So we got outside here, I mean inside there, outside here. Gives an interesting feel. You guys can't tell I'm trying to get better at building on Minecraft. That's the only reason I'm doing a creative kind of thing. Otherwise, I'd usually do survival if you guys. Just realized that I did not put the stone for this side. I'm not going to furnish the inside. We're just going for a little basic jaunt right here. I see a massive window on the back. I'm down. First, come on. All right, I just realized I did not even put a porch side for this side. Do I need a skylight? I feel like there's so much glass already on this. Ah, screw it. I'm never gonna see this house again, if I'm being honest. Oh, I go with like a weird looking skylight. This actually looks really weird, not just weird. All right, got our entire house built. Looks pretty good if I do say something. I'm just kidding. That looks act that actually looks kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really out here in creative mode, making the absolute bot looking house. Oh my god, this looks disgusting. Whatever. I'll actually just get some lanterns. Don't roast me. I have no idea where they are. Oh my god. Am I missing something? Can you, can you not put lanterns on the side of stuff? What? I've never used a lantern before, so. Oh, do they have to be in like, oh they, have to, oh, they have to hang off the ceiling. That makes sense. Am I dumb? Like, how did I not realize that? Okay, that looks super ugly, but whatever. It's gonna be a skylight. Got that. For the inside, we'll just put a couple blocks here. Crafting table and stuff will go there. Alright, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!